and with the wires and shit. Now normally I don't work on Michael Myers masks, but I bought this as a DIY uh, thing from, from uh, a fellow artist on Etsy. And I've never really gone into super fine detailing before. So this is really a first for me on this. So I can't promise it's going to come out good. Uh, I don't think it will. To be honest with you. A lot of people will do washes. And I'm trying my hand at fine detail in this thing. I'm taking the recommended advice of a friend of mine, Mikey Sievers. To do low air pressure and no fine lines. So hopefully this will come out okay. I don't really have anything to go off of other than other people's ideas and conceptions on this. Really low pressure on this thing, just real close. Kind of get in there and just try to do a little closer to the line. Well, sometimes I'll mess up, like right there. Rub it out. This is a Myers 2018 DIY blank that I got from uh, Pill Clothes Monsters on Etsy. I've had this for a while. I actually had two of them. And, uh, oh my God, CJ Graham is watching me. Oh my God. Thank you, CJ. I appreciate that. See, mess up there. Then I go to the bottle of liquor here and dab it out. Let me get a thing here and I will dab it out real quick. Just rub it out. Tough it out. But this has got to be one of the hardest masks I've ever done as far as fine detailing goes. See, there's another one. Try to get all the details. It would be easier to do just a wash. But I don't like doing things the easy way. Because there's no challenge to it. that in there and just hi Amanda I know people can't sleep it's something here and I can't sleep at all Ah, 
Ah, that's too much on that one. Try to get some of these lines. I'll be honest with you, I will think this is going to pretty much suck insofar as the first attempt because I have not done this much fine detailing insofar as lines go. Um, oh my God, who was it there, which I just saw you watching? Oh God, I saw your name. I'm sorry, I can't remember it right now, but I haven't finished detail on it, uh, uh, finished the final coat, but yours is done. This is the final thing. You got to let me know if you want more or less on the teeth. Put that back in the light. So this guy is done. He's going to go up on the wall with the rest of them. I got my straps coming in tomorrow. So. Whoa. I got straps coming in tomorrow. The, the, the roll of uh, elastic straps is finally coming in. So. And this one is a personal project. This is not going to go on sale. I just do this for the sake that I want to learn how to do the fine line detailing. Um, Jake Anderson is the guy's name and he's on Etsy. He runs a shop called Peel Crows. And he actually has these as DIY blanks to do yourself. I'm just going to put in a weathering effect on here just to see if this can weather out nicely. Of course, if it doesn't, then I can just go back in and strip it and redo it until I get it right. By the way, C.J. Graham, if you would like, I can do a, uh, a vengeance for you. If you would like one, let me know. I'd be more than happy to make you a foam field or, or what have you for your personal display. Um, I'm actually thinking about remodeling and remolding and redoing that one. But if you do want one, just let me know. I'd be glad to give you one because uh, Tommy Matt got one.
I know my friend A.J. McIntyre's got to be watching this because Michael Myers is one of his absolute favorites. So A.J., you want me to do one for you? Let me know. I'll get a hold of uh, Jake and uh, we will put something together for you. I'm not sure if you like the 2018 Myers or not, but we'll see what we can do. Just let me know. I'm not going all over the whole thing because I want to make sure that I leave because I got silver hair on it. Oh shit, you guys are sitting there watching me do it and you're not even seeing the thing on here. My bad. I pushed it out and pushed it back and didn't get it, didn't get it right. hairline's right here, so I'm just going to stop right there at that hairline. I don't know if it's too dark, too light, or what. It, you guys have to give me some critique on it. Let me back up here a little bit. I'm gonna pull it back and pull it down. Does that kind of look good? It needs to be darker, doesn't it? Kind of look at the eyes and see where it needs to be darker. Go 
normal weather. Of course, now you know there's not a lot of latex on this, uh, the white part, because this would be a faded mask and be aged and weathered. So there are some spots that are not going to have latex on them. too heavy on the nose. I may have to go back and a little white on that. Supposed to look like an old mask, so that's hoping I'm hoping that's what the effect will be. And I've run out of black. I gotta put a little bit more in. And I really suck at this camera thing, don't I? in here. I'm going to go a little bit darker behind the ears because it's really shadowy right here. Oh my goodness. black in the ears. Darker in the cheeks, I think. Well, it's got a real good age look, I think. I have to show some uh, 
right fresh on picks. But the weathering is what I really want to get, make it look really weathered and old. It's just too white and clean and crisp at the moment. back because I'm spattering a little bit. It's been a project I've been sitting on for about a year, maybe more. I've had this thing. I had two of them. And I started the one, first one, and it was really bad latex bubbles and boogers and all kinds of shit on it. And it just didn't look good. So then I thought, well, I'll just do another one and just do a regular display thing. And that's what this has been sitting around waiting to get done. And it's still too white here. I'm throwing some accentuals. Darken it up because it's too white. It's just way too white. And the reason I put that in the name and the title, Mickey Myers, because if any of you guys have seen Vengeance, you know exactly where that comes from. Who do you think you are, Mickey Myers? Talking to you, Mickey Myers. Get out of my way. My favorite redneck hillbilly of all. Louis Carlisle. Louis Carlisle is a badass redneck. I'm imagining that with uh, the forthcoming Halloween Kills movie, uh, if Mikey Myers, Mickey Myers survives the fire, which we know he will, his mask is going to look a little bit more scorched and decayed than normal. So. I guess you could say this is a concept of the Halloween Kills mask without having seen it. Of course, I have yet to hear it. That gum, this is too white. This side is just way too white. Let me put a little bit more thinner in here, see if I got to claw them a line somewhere. Let me put my finger over and make sure it bubbles. There you go. Do my old Joe uh, Evans trick. Go beautiful, 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 beautiful. Liking how this is turning out. I gotta, I gotta say, I don't usually toot my own horn in so far as uh, my painting, but I'm really liking how this is turning out. Um, if I can remember how to do this, I do it again, but. Of course, on the back side, you really don't see much, but I'm just going to go ahead and put the effects back here just to make sure that we get done. 
The hair is covering a large portion of their style. Turn this up just a wee bit. And I'll tell you what, there's a lot of artists out there that are better at this than I am. James Grimm is one of them. He's pretty good. So, you know. that nose his nose looks like it's too worn off but you know what I think I'll have to keep it I'm not going in for anything more than just a kind of a scorched effect so turn it down just a wee bit model up his neck a little bit. Now see on this kind of mask I could use a clear coat, regular clear coat because it does come out white sometimes for a sealant and if it does crack it just gives it that extra lustrous effect. So, I think, let's get this neck a little bit, I think we're about done with this bad boy. Let's get the mask off a little bit. darker in one spot here, not too much. I'm going to take that off a little bit. No. I might be ready to call this one done. I think this might be done. I have to lay the hair and after I lay the hair see how it looks. But as a general, let me see if I can turn this around and put this in the light here. Try to get the light on it. I can't really get the light on it that well. I don't know. 
you think? Shitty, isn't it? <laughs> Probably. Anyway, I'm going to put it on the stand and see how it looks. Hang on just a second. See if I can get over here with uh, where this is. Right here. Let me turn this up a little bit. There we go. Pull this one off. Pull this off here. Let's see if we can take a look. Stand back. You really can't see the details, can you? Wow. That's probably because they're so subtle, but eh, I don't know. 